Hey guys, well, first of all, thanks a lot for joining me on Patreon. You know, I'm getting more and more excited about all the stuff that's going on there. So right now it's Sunday, it's morning in my beautiful, but not really beautiful today, you know, country Belarus. So I'm heading to my practice space because uh, in a couple of weeks I'm going to shoot new covers. And I would like to say that they are ready, but not really. <laughs> so, but I still have time and I, you know, I know I can do it. I'm a little late, so I need to hurry. See ya. So here I am at my practice place. So today the room is quite small. You see, I've got my drums already set up. And you know, it's quite sad to realize that you have two full cool drum kits at home, but you have to rent some place to, you know, to practice. So maybe someday, you know, just why I'm doing all this, maybe someday I will, will be able to, you know, have my own space to play with bands, to do covers, to do more videos for you. That's okay for now. So, and you know, one good thing about practices is that you can use your old correct symbols that you cannot use for drum recordings or for shows. So today I have this beautiful pasty 7 thing crash. You know, it, it uh, sounded really cool, but as you can see it cracked one, two, three, four times. So probably I hit too hard. And when my cymbals crack I usually cut it out. But it doesn't last long because, you know, the crack is just going further. I usually give my cymbals second life, but I don't give them third life. So probably won't use them for long. So it's my first practice of uh, new songs. I play them at home. I have an electronic drum kit at home. I will show it to you someday. Uh, but it's always necessary to put it here in a real acoustic drum set. Uh, so today I'm here for three, maybe four hours. You know, I need to get it right and then I will have a well-deserved Sunday rest. Usually I record four covers at a time, because it's easier to get them ready, it's easier to transport my drum kit from home to the studio, to rent equipment, uh, video equipment and lighting equipment. Um, so it's usually how it's done. Uh, I'm planning to do more covers, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but now it's just four tracks and you know, it's I feel kind of tired after recording them. And the most important thing I learned from my practices is that you have to play, you know, with the full power. You know, you have to play it like you're playing in front of the camera or in front of the audience so you can't play just you know softly just uh, not put in all your energy because I um, a couple of times I did this so I came to the practice quite tired in the evening and I thought okay I'll just learn some parts learn some techniques and I thought it was okay but when I came to the studio and after you know about half an hour I realized that all my muscles are burning and just it was so hard to play. So now I try to practice with as much energy as I do while shooting the videos, while playing shows. And when you are getting used to playing with all your energy all the time, so you know it makes the whole drumming process so much easier because you just, you know, you it's the way you play. So you don't have two modes, you're just tired mode and you know energetic mode so you play exactly the same all the time you know and it's great you know I realized it's the only way it should be I'm still learning but I think I'm on the right way you know to become better it's awesome Alright guys, so I'm gonna continue practicing because I have three more songs to do and if you have any questions, any comments, just write anything you want. Let's 
communicate, let's speak. And if you want me to tell you anything about the drumming process, about the life of a drummer, you know, just anything in the world. So I'm waiting for your questions. Love you.